It is only 10.30 in the morning. And I had a cup of coffee. And all hell broke loose. So I think I'm needing some morning thunder black tea with more caffeine from Celestial Seasoning, which is not sponsoring this video, but I'm gonna need it. The universe got in the way once again. So we're gonna get into it while I share my exciting morning because I'm sure it'll make you feel better about yours. Let's hit the music. Hook me up on summer night. everyone welcome back to my channel and welcome back to the pixie palace i had to do this video today and it's not exactly a normal one i do but it was one of those mornings that the universe got in the way once again um life is pretty crazy lately as a lot of you know i am actually going to be going on a trip next week so i'm trying to get things going do some batching of videos um, really just um, put some posts together and schedule them so they're active when I'm away. Um, when I'm on my trip, I'll be on it for a few weeks, so I won't be as active in engagement and um, posting because I want to actually unplug and just really relax. I'm uh, visiting someone special, and it's going to be great, and I'm really looking forward to it. But of course, like any trip, there's a lot of preparation beforehand. And I woke up early today to do some things. I got showered, got ready um, to do some videos, actually. And um, it's been kind of a crazy few hours. I don't know what the hell is going on. I don't know if it's just because we had a full moon in Aries or what. But um, <laughs> as you guys have heard, if you've been with this channel for any period of time, on and off, I do complain about my upstairs neighbors. And why my voice quiets down when I talk about them, I have no idea. They have been loud rhinoceroses for years. And I'm one of those people that I try to choose my battles. I try to um, not avoid conflict, but just be wise about how I react to things. I'm not always successful, but when it comes to confrontation and that kind of thing, um, I really try to uh, not do it unless it's absolutely necessary. Because everybody has a story. Everybody has a life uh, that we don't always understand or always know. So I try to have compassion for others like that. And I'll continue to be that way. That's just who I am. However, <laughs> that does not mean... I'm a doormat, and it does not mean I won't defend myself or the people I care about. Now, I don't know if I've ever mentioned her. I have a really good friend. I would call her one of my best friends who um, lives right across from me here. And she's been a great help to me in my medical um, issues I've had in the past. Um, just being moral support. Um, just hanging out. Being a good friend as friends are. And she's recovering from surgery right now, and she's doing well. But it's one of those things, you know, when you recover from surgery, whether you're home or not, you need to rest, you need to um, minimize stressful situations so you can really focus on yourself and heal uh, from within as well as the external body. Well, these rhinoceroses right upstairs above me, I'm so lucky, um, they tend to play roller derby in the middle of the night and the middle of the day and all day um, by scraping chairs across the floor, scraping tables, scraping anything across the floor where it will scare the hell out of Timmy. It will scare me. It will make me jump. It comes out of the blue. Then they keep doing it, keep doing it. So it's kind of annoying. And then they yell and they fight and... Um, when there were sports events on in the past, they would yell, like, out of the blue. And some of it was kind of comical. It was like, okay. Um, and my boyfriend and I would be talking on the phone, and he would hear them on his side. So it was kind of bad. So it was one of those things, um, unfortunately, I had to take matters in my own hands. I had to 
report them a few times, which I don't like doing because I'm not one of those neighbors. But it was just got to the point that it was increasing my anxiety. It was really freaking Timmy out. And, you know, cats and dogs are very sensitive to things like that. But he's super sensitive. He's like me in that sense. And every time I would email the association, they would be like, oh, we'll send out a letter. And they're very, very uh, responsive in the emails. The lady I talked to was really nice. So it wasn't like she was blowing me off or anything. But they have a protocol like any place does. And I, I respect that. I get that. So they send a letter. You have to wait two weeks. I'd email them back. Still scraping chairs. Still yelling. Still being stupid. Okay, we'll send another letter. Two weeks. I email back. Still being stupid. Don't make any noise. You know, <laughs> you know, and I, I'm one of those, like, you know, if you make noise during the day, you can't really do a whole lot about it. Except tell them maybe shut the fuck up once in a while. Excuse my language. But um, other than that, you know, they have a right. But when it's 1 o'clock in the morning or even 11 o'clock at night, uh, no, that is not okay. So, <laughs> so um, after the third time, she was like, okay, I'll send another letter. And I, I, I finally emailed her back. And I said, listen, I appreciate you being very responsive and trying to help me with the situation. I don't want to get anybody kicked out or, you know, I'm not looking for that. Just quiet down, you know. And I said, can we get on with it, actually do something about it and not keep sending letters? And she's like, oh, okay, well, this letter, if this doesn't work, you know, blah, blah. I thought, fine, I'll give it one more shot. Um, I have an email back because they did seem to quiet down a little bit. So I thought, oh, okay, cool, that, that works. That was a few months ago. Well, the past month they've been back at their old tricks, being stupid, yelling, um, just, you know, the same old, same old shit. So I was like, I was really trying to hold off because I don't, and I still haven't. I didn't want to email and be a pain in the ass. You know, I'm just like that. It's just, I don't like, uh, I just don't like being one of those people. You know what I mean? So um, I thought, you know, I can tolerate some of it. It's been happening for a few years anyway. And, but they have no regard for the people around them. They act like they're in a home and not in a condo. So where other people are around. So fine, whatever. Last night, my friend, poor girl, she's recovering from a surgery, and she uh, messages me and says, WTF. And she's very cool, calm, and collected most of the time. She said they were running up and down the stairs, and I could hear them constantly. It wasn't like once or twice. It was like 50 times in one hour. And I was like, what the hell is going on? This is like 10 o'clock at night. And she's like, you know, this is getting ridiculous. And now they're parked outside of a window you know, I don't know what they were doing, honking and talking, yelling and shit. And she finally had to tell them to shut up. So she did, and she fired off an email. <laughs> and uh, I was like, oh, here we go again. So I felt really bad for her, and I was like, God, why are they pounding up and down the stairs? So I opened the door, and I yell, can you please quiet down? And they're like, Okay. And I said, please. <laughs> so like that. And I just slammed my door. And that probably wasn't the best thing to do. But I was pissed. And I, was, I wasn't really pissed for me. I was kind of annoyed about that. But I could deal with it. Um, I was more pissed off for her. Because she's trying to heal. She doesn't ask for much. And neither do I. And she's, you know, let her rest. You know. And, and granted, they don't know that she went through that. But it's just as a sign of respect. It's 10 o'clock at night. Shut the fuck up. So, <laughs> you know, it's like, okay. So I thought, okay, this morning, you know, it's fine. Morning Thunder. Black Tea by Celestial Seasonings. Oh, good. Yeah, it's just ripped the tea bag. Morning Thunder Black Tea. Ooh. And it's with energizing roasted mate. Whatever that is. <laughs> it has roasted mate on black tea. Um, oh, here we go. This blend savory, earthy flavor comes from a... Yeah. Um,
fits right up in there, you know? And provides steady energy. You can enjoy it throughout the day. It might just be your new morning cup. Well, what happens when you already had a cup of coffee and you're going insane? Morning thunder, black tea is for you.